So tonight you're gonna learn how to pass the guard, okay? When our opponent is on bottom and he doesn't have grip, okay? Let's say we broke the grip and we're in the situation here, sometimes gonna be at the back of the floor, or like sitting up like that, okay? So let's start with the back of the floor, okay? Remember that Andy showed last week guard rotation? So I'll teach you how to pass this guard, okay? <laughs> how to not allow the guy to, to do guard rotation, okay? <laughs> Uh, okay, so remember that we can grab like on the same side as a Toriano pass and then we pass like this, okay? But when you go like that, all right, so you're limiting yourself just to be like on the side, side to side, okay? Why? Because if you go all the way around, you're going to feel that your arms are going to cross like this, okay? So you go here, you need to let go the grip and then start like making the grip again. So the way you're gonna do, you're gonna control the pants on the side right here, cross grip. Okay, so right hand on the right side of his leg. Okay, on the right leg. And then I'm gonna start circling around right here. Okay, so I'm gonna shuffle and I go around, but I go away from his arms. I'm not gonna go with the knee on belly because then he's gonna grab my leg and start entangle, like K guard, like this. Okay, usually like flexible guys, they do that. Okay, so on this one here, I'm gonna grab it and I circle around. You see how far I am from his legs? And now I gotta just aim for this leg right here. Because after I start moving to the side, he's gonna work with the leg or with his arm to block me. If his back is on the floor, he's gonna for sure use the leg. So when I start moving to the side, he's gonna use the leg, so I'm gonna control the C grip on this leg right here, okay? When he's sitting up right here, he's gonna use more the arms, okay? So when I circle around, I gotta grab the C grip on the arm. Once you put the back on the floor, I change for the leg, okay? Again, so if I go on this side, I circle, go on the leg, okay? Circle, catch his leg, okay? You can make the grip first and then start going to the side. Sometimes your opponent is gonna put the leg inside like this, which is gonna be, be uh, harder for you to grab the C grip. But don't let him do that, okay? You're only gonna do that if you put the leg on the floor, like this, okay? So you're gonna keep his feet, uh, his foot in the air right here. Try to put your leg inside. So now it's a little bit harder because I will anticipate my grip here. But I'm not gonna stop here. I'm gonna go all the way around here, okay? On his head, right here. So now remember that Andy showed us that uh, you can frame like this, right? Controlling the armpit, okay? And if I try to put my weight here right now, sometimes my opponent will be super strong and with the arm really stiff. And if I try to put my head on his stomach right here right now, he can push me forward and I'll be off balance. Now he's gonna start entangling my legs, okay? So we're gonna block those arms, okay? Using our legs as well. So I'm gonna circle, control, once you block here, you're gonna knee cut over his arm, like this, okay? Once that happens, now I gotta just watch out for his legs, okay? He's gonna try to bring his knees inside, or he's gonna try to put one foot under my leg, like this, okay? Why is what he wants this foot under my leg? Because he wanna turn around, yes. Exactly, so he wants to recover the guard, okay? So go around, not the other way, like this, okay? But since I'm blocking here, it's gonna be a little bit harder for him to do that. So he's gonna try to do like more like a K guard. He's gonna push me forward. He's gonna try to entangle the leg like this. Okay. So I need to be fast. As I go for the knee cut on the leg right here, okay, push my arm here. I need to use this arm right here. This hand goes more on the knee right now. So I use my frame right here, okay? With my hand or with my forearm. Because once I push the knee, if I push both knees like this, there's no longer frame right there, okay? So your focus also is not to put his foot on the floor, his feet on the floor like this, because you're gonna be in trouble right now, you see that? So when you circle around, you gotta keep his feet in the air like this, okay? If my opponent put the foot on the floor, I don't follow him, okay? He put his feet on the floor, I just let go, okay? So now if you try to come back, I grab the knee, and then I got the knee cut right here, okay? Once I'm here, I'm gonna use 
my elbow inside his arm and then I'll push his arm out. So now I'll be on this position here, okay? Now I have the choice to force him to turtle and scramble to his back or I can sprawl and use my rib against his face to be on the north south, okay? Again. So you know like we do a knee cut here, right, on the legs. We're gonna do a knee cut on the arm, okay? You can do the same side knee if you want, okay? But we're gonna work on the other side, okay? And then we start pushing towards the, the knees or here, the thighs, okay? So once, once you control here, it's really hard to keep the shin on me, okay? His goal is to keep me over his shin and forearms, so I'm blocking all of that. So I'm not allowing him to have the shield. Okay? Push my, my armpit and now I go here. Okay? So you see that I go with my elbow in and then I go on the bicep here, then I go back here. Okay? Because in the meantime, when I'm doing this, he's bringing the leg. Okay? So my head must go inside here. Right on his uh, hip flexor. Because if Andy tried to go belly down, belly down Andy, I block with my head. Okay, so my head is not here. Because if my head is here, it's gonna turn like that. And that's when I start going to the back, okay? So for now, we're just gonna do that. Control the leg with the cross hand, okay, cross grip. The side you grab, the side you circle, then you grab the outside leg, knee cut, and get the, the position. Okay, so now I go more so. Cross grip, circle, you cut, block. You see, I like to put, go with my right leg, okay? If you wanna go with the other leg, you can go too, okay? But you need to cross the arm, okay? Just like that. You got it, okay? So don't try ever to go down while he's push you, push me. Don't try to do that. Always go with your shin right over his his bicep, okay? And then you you go with the hand here. The other one uh, we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna show later. I'm not gonna show now, so we're gonna get confused. But for now, it's just this. Don't go like this, okay? Just like you see, I can I can step and then turn. Catching his leg, or I can shuffle like this. And notice that I, I have my hand here in the air. I don't go like pushing, putting pressure on him. Because the goal of this pass is trying to not letting your opponent feel your weight, okay? More he feels my weight, better for him. You know, he can start like pushing me out. Last he feels me here, harder for him to play guard, okay? All right, yes. If you push my, my shoulders with his feet, like when I go here, block, and now when I go here. No, if they already have their feet on the shoulders. Right here? Yeah. Right here, if his, if his feet is on my shoulders, or my chest, I'm not gonna put the weight on him. And I'm gonna show you this next, okay? So instead of putting the weight forward, you're gonna do this. You make a wall like this, instead of being like making a ceiling. You know, so you're not gonna be here. Your chest go here, then you can push him away. And while you try to recover the guard, try to recover the guard, and choose one side to recover the guard, I'm already blocking him and passing his guard, okay? But for now, just in the first one. Let's go one, two, three, go. So when you circle around, like be aware of this leg, okay? That's the leg he's gonna try to use to recover the guard. Again, if you sit up, if you're sitting up like this, I can do the same move. I grab here and start circling, but I pull his leg up like this. Don't keep his foot down, okay, here. Then you go aim for the arm, then you aim for the leg once his back's on the floor, I'm gonna aim for back. The goal is to not allow him to put the foot here, of course, so I try to like bend his, his knee, okay? And then, if I put too much weight, he's gonna feel my weight. Okay, just enough so he can touch me, try to push me in. So he can push me too hard. 
If I put weight and he feel, I feel like the weight is heavy on him, he can push me everywhere, okay? So my goal is to just like feel his hand, not like put pressure on his hand, okay? Here, so now I got the knee cut, and I see like some of you trying to hug the head like this. If I do this, that leg will come on our chest, especially if you find someone flexible. Then they're gonna start pushing you away, and you may like lose the position, okay? So once you get the knee cut here, Okay, like this. Always use the hand here. Don't try to hug his head. Be here and try to elevate and open his arm up. Okay, because if his elbows, go, if his elbow goes towards his uh, body, he's gonna be strong with the frame on my back. Frame my back. Here. Yeah, like this is bad for me. Okay, I need to be here, opening his arm up. Now he, it's hard for him to push. Okay. So after I get here, now we're gonna add this move. We're gonna bring him turtle like this, okay? We force him to turtle. And usually sometimes your opponent will try to turtle, okay? Naturally like that, okay? I'm gonna put this hook first, my bottom leg between his legs, okay? Right here. And at the same time, I'm gonna hop over his body, scramble into his back. This hand goes to the front of his face, and this hand goes underneath of his arm. And then I scramble, you gotta scramble. Okay, and go all the way, 360 degree, okay? And now, I get here. You cannot stop in the middle. I'm just gonna add this move right now. So one, two, when he turtle, my foot goes between his legs. I go one, two, and sometimes people, they roll just here, and they stop like this. If you stop here, it's gonna put a hot curve. So, okay, and then I'll miss it back. You gotta roll, all the way. So notice that my foot is between his legs, my, my leg is between his legs. This arm here is the one that's gonna catch his neck, okay? So I'm gonna go in front of his face. Don't try to put his arm here, it's under his arm. It's right here. The arm that goes under the arm is this one here, the left one. So your arm goes under and your knee also goes right here. And then you turn around like already putting the seat belt, okay? But once you're here, you start controlling the back, okay? If you try to take the back here and the opponent is blocking, don't let me put the, the, the hooks, okay? You can start closing, grab his arm, bring to your lap, and then you can easily set up the hook, okay? And then you start choking. So the complete movement's like this. So I'm here, one, two, three. So the turtle, his back okay so once i'm here i try to put the hook block he's blocking okay so at the same time I'm getting his neck i'm controlling his wrist and then i bring his arm over my lap here try to block right now Andy. it's hard for you to block the only thing i need to concern right now is having him extending the bottom leg extend the bottom leg so he's gonna hop over the the hook but i can block this like by following him try to extend the leg and the other uh, other concern I gotta have, I need to have here is not letting him put this hook under my foot like this because he's gonna use the foot to take the hook out, right? And once you take the hook out, now Andy can hop over to the other side and then start giving me a hard time and start passing my guard, okay? So once I'm here, I need to have this hook here for a little bit, okay? So he doesn't use that hook to uh, take the hook out. Try to extend your leg, so make sure you're curling the leg really well here. You can block like this as fir at first, and then when you feel the moment is coming, then you go like fast with your hook, okay? and then you start choking, okay? or grabbing the collar, whatever you like to do after that, okay? Sit up, if you're sitting up here, grab and then pull his leg up. Try to put your foot on the floor. He's gonna try to come with this leg over my arm, maybe, like this. That's the moment I start grabbing the circle, okay? I'm not gonna put your leg, open your leg that way, Andy. I'm not gonna try to grab like this, okay, in the fight. If his leg is far from me, I just go here. If he's there, if he's, keep your leg there. If he's there, it's, it's okay. Just wait. You wait here, when he brings the leg, you catch. One, 
two, strike with the hook is gonna block, block easy, with your hand, there you go, good show. Okay. Once you get the hooks in, now I can start attacking the neck. Okay? All right, let's go, one, two, three. Okay, on the side like this, uh, north, south. Mm -hmm. So again, if I put too much weight here, he's gonna guide me like towards his leg, okay? Um, what I do here, if you put the foot on my chest like this, okay, that's not good as well. I can use that. I put my knee on the floor and I take my chest away like this. I bump my chest up like that. Because now he can't push me, you see? Right, if I keep like this, curling, then he's gonna push me, okay? Since I'm grabbing his pants, it's gonna be hard for him to push my chest like that, okay? He's only gonna push my chest like that if he's like, I don't touch, sometimes I go like this and then he goes to the leg like that, okay? So since I'm grabbing the pants and I'm doing the C grip, it's gonna be hard for him to work with the foot on my chest, okay? So remember like, what Andy showed, the way the person will recover, right? It really depends on the flexibility. Most of the time, they're gonna find the foot under your armpit, and then they're gonna start turning around, okay? Or, if the guy is not too flexible, they're gonna put the foot on the floor to try to face to you, exactly like this, okay? And if they do that, that'll be great, right? Because there's no frames. If I'm here, do that, and then I'm gonna take his back so easy. Okay, usually like unflexible guys, they're gonna do that. Or, also, they're gonna sit up. I sit up, Andy. Like this, they try to face me like that. And when they sit up, I can jump to their, their back, okay? So just to let you know, those will be the reactions after you go north-south of that situation, okay? So you know he's gonna try to bring the legs. He's gonna try to put the feet on the floor to turn or they're gonna try to sit up to turn as well, okay? First one, bring the leg, bring the leg across, and then face me, okay? Second one, put the foot on the floor and face it in, like single leg, like that, okay? Or if I circle around, he's gonna try to sit up, and then try to face me like that, okay? You see, out of the three, of course, the first one is the best one, right? Like putting the, arm, the foot under the armpit is safer. He built like a, a shield, so a protection, right? So his leg under my armpit became a protection for him, and then he's gonna turn. That's why it's important to be flexible, okay? If you're not that flexible, you gotta work on that. I just did the yoga last night, you know, I feel much better, <laughs> okay? I started doing yoga on Sundays. You gotta be more flexible, okay? So I'll work on our flexibility, and it's gonna help you to play guard better, okay? So now, we go around, control, but now we're gonna drop our knees and we're gonna trap the leg, the head. See, I trap his head. Blah, like that, okay? And now he's gonna try to bring the legs, right? It's kinda like funny, right? Like being with a guy, like he's deaf right now. He can't listen to his coach, right? And also like he's trapped. But I'm not gonna stay here for a long time, okay? Once I get here, I push the shin. Once I push the shin, I push the knee, okay? But in the meantime, I'm doing that, he's, he's gonna try to take his head out. Yeah, he's gonna push my hip right now. His head probably go to one side. There we go, go turn it. So when he start turning like this, now it's time for me to build a shin, a shield against his thigh, okay? If you bring the leg super hard against me here, I need to push him his leg away from me, okay? It's like doing a hip thrust, like, like this. And then you start hugging. It's kind of like, get away, you know? Just push him away. So again, so one, two, trap. Okay, go in and start fighting. Go. Turn. Okay, just like that. If the leg goes under my armpit, Okay, so if I'm here, and his leg goes under my armpit, usually the, le the leg that I'm doing the secret. If that happens, okay, I need to let go of everything. Because I know he cannot go this way. If you go this way, I'm gonna smash him. Okay, he needs to go the other way, okay? You see that what's 
helping him is my arm down, downwards, okay? But if I do this with my arm, there's no contact anymore, okay? Keep your leg against me, Andy. There's no pressure. If I'm doing this, I create something on top of his leg so that will help him to turn. So at the same time I'm raising my arm up, I'm using my form on this leg, the same leg. Andy, it's gonna look like this. Just like, it's kind of like stinky arm peak, right? <laughs> you go know, like, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, stinky arm peak fast. <laughs> so I go one, two, and then you hear it, and then boom, block his hand. He's gonna bring the arm, and then you, don't keep the hand down, because you're gonna help him. He even can do a plato me here right now, okay? Or even a K guard or something like that, especially if his head goes out. Okay, so I just like elevate my arm and push the leg, and now I drop my head. So sometimes when I, when I push his leg here, he can try to go single leg right now on me. Then they need to go all the way around, okay? That happens, okay? Because he can try to like attack you, all right? So we're gonna go around. First option is strapping, grabbing the knee, okay? Now, if you feel his arm is on the way, don't put the weight down. Because if I'm here, he's gonna be strong. Try to push me in here. I just trap here until he goes with the hands on my hip to take his head out. No, that's when I start building the shield and blocking. Okay, now, press his guard. You got it? Second option. I go around, trap his head, okay? He goes with the, arm, with the leg under my, my arm. I lift my arm up and push it back to the side, and then I go to the side, which way. If it's this leg here, I'll push it this way, of course he's facing that way. If it's the other leg, okay, I gotta push it this way, he's gonna face that way, I'm gonna naturally go to the back. Always, okay? Because his next step is turning belly down. You got it? All right, so let's practice this back and forth. You guys have any question? Yes, Rulu? Uh, for the previous technique when you're taking the bat, what is helping you uh, what is helping you carry the guy with you? When I roll? Correct. That's a good question because sometimes when you when the person turtle, right, you hear you pass and then you get a north south and then you turtle. I see a lot of people sometimes they put a lot of leg inside. They put the knee inside and they try to jump, they got stuck. You see? So you just gotta put your ankle inside. It's just pretty much like the ankle. It's the shin, okay? Because now when I go, look, I elevate, I still have the hook. If I put too much leg, I can even like roll. So I go here. Just so I can't even put my foot here, but never too much. Just a little bit of hook. And then when I go, what will uh, make him roll is the momentum. Like as soon as I get the, the seat belt, I use my hook that's inside to bring him. Okay, and this leg here also will go inside and force him to roll like this. But pretty much is using the hook to bring him and using the leg to turn him at the same time. So once I get here. First thing is not too much hook inside. It's just a little bit. Then you go. And you block the arm and get the hook in. Okay. Get down. Again, so you don't forget. One, two, trap, okay? And now you just, you can do that too. If he's pushing you here and his hand is trapped, he's not moving, you go here. He's gonna try to bring the legs. Then you just play with him, like. And then he push the head out, push the head out. Okay. All right. One, two, three.